Hello guys. In this session, we are learn about the config.xml file of the Cordova. Config.xml file is a global configuration file using which we can manage the behavior of the our Cordova application. This file is a place on the top level directory. When we are creating the app, the default config file also created. Let's switch to the Visual Studio and see it. This is the same application that we are building in our previous session. This is the config.xml file. Double click on it to open. Config.xml file is a XML file. However, the Visual Studio provides the user interface for editing it. It includes the several tabs. The display name is the name for the our application. The start page specify the file name that will be automatically open when the our application was started. Usually it was index.html but you can also edit it. When we are creating this app, we are not specify the package name. Therefore, the Visual Studio create the some chunk value and append with it. How we can modify it? We can also specify the version detail for our application as well as the author detail. Description field contain the little description that you used for the store. We can also specify whether the our application will be a landscape or the a portrait or in the a full screen mode. Domain access is the important value. It contains the list of URL or the a pattern that allow to access uh, by the our application. For example, if you want to access the uh, google.com in your application then you need you must need to specify the url in this if you want to access the multiple url then you can simply use the star or you can also add the some more platform tab platform tab contain only one field that specify the cordova's version we can select from the available drop down the we will learn about the uh, plugins in the uh, later session. Windows, Android, and iOS are the uh, operating system specific value. We can specify the application name, package, and the version for the uh, Windows. As well as we can also specify the uh, target for the our uh, application. I am not installed the uh, Windows 10 in the uh, platform directory, therefore, it's so the only Windows 8.1. In the uh, Android tab, the minimum API level, maximum API level, and the target API level is uh, very important. For the iOS, we can also specify the uh, target device whether it was iPhone, iPad, or the Universal. As well as we can specify the uh, storage backup way whether it was a cloud, local, or non. If you are build uh, application by using the command line interface, then you are not getting the user interface like this. In such situation, you get the uh, interface like this is the XML file. Uh, this is the XML file the, uh, behind the uh, scene that managed by the uh, Visual Studio. The widget is the root tag for the our application. The name tag specify the name of the our application. Description specify the little bit description. Author tag specify the author name as well as it um, email ID and the hyperlink. Content tag content tag specify the home page of the our application. Access origin specify the list of URL that our application will be access. Plugin tag is used to specify the list of plugins that are used by the our application. Whitelist is the only plugin that is used by the our application now. It was provided by default. Allow intent is also one of the most important tag. 
using which we can specify the uh, list of uh, URI or the uh, protocol that our application will be access. In this case, our application can access HTTP, HTTPS, TAL, SMS, MILTO, etc. We can also specify the uh, platform specific uh, configuration by using the uh, platform tag in which we need to specify the uh, platform name and we need to put the all of the uh, platform uh, all of the uh, setting within this tag our only android app can access the uh, market uri and ios app can access the items or the uh, item apps uri again we are specifying the icon by using the platform tag for the android and same apply for the ios and we are also applying the icon for the windows windows phone 8 android ios and windows phone 8 let's see the most important tags of the config.xml file Virgat is a root element for the config.xml file which specify the ID, version and the namespace. Name specify the application name that appear on the device. Description specify the metadata about the application that may use by the store. Author specify the author's name and contact details. Content specify the app starting page within the www directory. Access specify the external domain that our application will be access. Allow intent specify the protocol or URI in which our application will be open. Plugin specify the list of plugin that currently installed. Preference preference specify the set of various option as a pair of name and value attribute platform. Platform specify the set of preference for the single platform. This is the simple configuration file. Virgat is the root element, contain the name, description, author, content, plugins, access, allow intent, platform, allow intent, and the platform. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me. Thank you.